Many of you out there probably already know from Tanzini Forest Lodge, an oasis on our north coast, hosting great and cosy accommodation right in the middle of the KZN coastal forest. One thing over the last 16 years I really enjoyed and is evident in our efforts we've tried over the last 15 years is to introduce people into rock and surf fishing. Jonathan's wife booked a day with us at Mtanzini and his interest was to get into rock and surf fishing, especially on the edible and scratching side. Yeah, what I explained earlier. The objective of today is to make sure that when Jonathan leaves, he's got a full understanding of tackle, conditions, structure, baits, traces, species and everything possible we can fit in in one day. Fishing in the change of seasons can always be a challenge, but with the rains we had of late, there was quite a bit of discoloured water that could be in our advantage, even though the water temperature was quite high. From high up on a dune, on the lower tides, you can clearly see your banks, gutters and areas that could potentially be good when the tide fills up. So spend some time on the dune looking at the areas you want to fish, making the right decision and identifying a second and a third option should you not get fish. Introducing anybody into edible fishing on the lighter and medium tackle size is always really enjoyable. And the objective today was to make sure Jonathan understands the traces, the water, the baits, when and how and where to use them to get the best possible results. Under circumstances, we could work the inside banks with a pushing tide. There's a bit of discoloured water and we could work the closer lip which works well at Ntanzini. Normally how we structure it is 100% hands-on and running through theory by means of the practical exercise or making sure that an angler can walk away and be able to do it all himself. Now this is a male okay. because of the past. The academy is structured not just for the beginner angler but for the intermediate angler as well as we cover into depth and advanced information thoroughly. The bite started off with a small lesser and followed by a baby cob which was really nice to see. Okay, I'm out here with Jonathan on uh, Academy. He wants to get into rock and surf. So interest, his interest is more the edible side. Our conditions is not favorable at all for Mtanzini. But we've had this uh, quite a bit of rain last week. So this brown water has washed into the sea. It's now five days later. So it's mixed enough with the sea. So there might be a fish here. Managed to get him a small cop. It is actually so cute, the, the smallest cob I've seen on this beach, which means that's probably from last year's breed, uh, breeding se uh, spawning season um, that's come into the gutters here. We're about 3Ks, 3Ks, 4Ks from the mouth down the beach in front of Tanzini Forest Lodge. And uh, got him scratching a bit with some scratching baits. Yeah, I've got a little chocker bait on for a cob. And we've now put a, a a whole bonito which are uh, built up in a, in a bit of a rugby ball and I've put it on a bank there it's about two hours before high spring high it's, the, it's full spring today so we'll see what it does hopefully there's a small honeycomb or a sandy that still lurks in this water water is very warm though so maybe a honeycomb and uh, who knows maybe a lost sandy can pick the bait up just to give him a good fight. So we've run through most of the traces and baits he's interested in and uh, the water reading and conditions and now we're just hoping to get him a bit of experience of a fish. So yeah let's hold thumbs and see if that all comes together. 
but uh, like I said, the conditions hasn't played in our favour at all today. Running through the academy is from beginning to end. Running through water reading, conditions, the influences, the different species, structures, baits used and all tackle used and why we use what, where and when. It's a comprehensive breakdown that gives you a solid understanding to walk away and be able to help yourself almost anywhere. Understanding the role of phytoplankton or coloured water in our waters or anywhere in the world As we know as anglers, having a good understanding and the little small detail that goes around certain conditions, species and time of the year can make a big difference in your results. Understanding basic bait principles and where to place your bait in certain formations is the key of any day like this plays a big role in finding fish. The formations, the currents, the moon phases, the water temperature and everything that plays a role. Taking as many of the potential positive elements and getting the results ensures a potential better outcome, even though we're working with nature that's totally unpredictable. It replaces the tongue of the fish and it, uh, it feeds off whatever the fish is eating. It's terrible. It sits on the tongue until it, uh, it eats up the whole tongue and it replaces the tongue of the fish. See now that's a terrible parasite and hopefully this thing will grow its tongue back. This tongue-eating louse or parasite enters the fish through its gills. The female attaches to the tongue with a male attaching to the gill arches. Creepy little thing and just the fact that we call it a parasite is enough for me. Several species came about, totaling to seven species for the day, with a few lost here and there. Our Zulu land or north coast never fails to produce several species. Be sure to see more from Jonathan in the near future, as I'm sure some great catches will follow this day. Jonathan decided to keep the shad for some fresh dinner tonight. ASFN has and will always be committed, ensuring them better results. The Academy is a more in-depth part of ASFN that we offer anglers. For more information, visit our website at asfnfishing.com. Thank you all for watching and thank you for every person that subscribed to our channel already. If you haven't, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification button to receive an update every time we upload a new video. Also like this video as that helps us on YouTube.